On July 25th, my class and I got up bright and early to catch a ferry to the island of Prochida. Prochida was named the capital of Italian culture for 2022. Our tour guide Vincenzo took us through the ports, the steep streets, by stunning lookout points, and into residential areas. He explained to us that the colorful buildings that line the island's shores are because of the ancient fishermen that used to inhabit the area. By having a brightly colored home that was different from the surrounding houses, fishermen could easily spot which house was theirs from their boats. Walking further up the island's steep streets led us to more lookouts, spectacular city views, and the Terra Mirada, where we could see the entire Bay of Naples. For lunch, I grabbed a fresh panini, a San Pellegrino, and ate by the sea, while a sweet dog tried to share my lunch with me. Prochita is famous for the frolicella pastry, which is encased in a soft, sweet dough and filled with a lemon cream. I definitely recommend trying one. After lunch, we hopped on a bus to see the small island of Vivara. It used to be connected to Prochita, but time and erosion have separated the islands. A long Tibetan bridge is all that connects them. Vivara is untouched by modern civilization and greatly inhabited by wildlife and plants. After a long, hot day experiencing the beauty and culture of Prochida, the ferry boat brought us back to Sorrento. One last trek up the stairs and we were back to our home for this summer.